sharing my top spring perfumes with you. Whenever the seasons are changing and we're heading into spring, these are the fragrances I absolutely love. And I tend to wear these style of fragrances during the early spring. So I'm gonna share these with you. But before I get started, leave me a comment down below and tell me what is your favorite or your go-to perfume for spring. I would love to know. And if you're new here on this channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. I would love to have you a part of my feminine journey. This perfume reminds me of spring and it's Coco Mademoiselle. I do love this for the spring and there's something about the orange and the patchouli mixed with rose in this fragrance that I just love. This is highly classy, elegant, a very versatile perfume. It's so easy to wear and I think this perfume you can wear it throughout every single season. There is something about Coco Mademoiselle that just smells really beautiful for the springtime. I just find it really classy, elegant and for me I pick up so much of the patchouli, the rose, a touch of orange in here. Easy to wear as a daytime scent. So this one I do wear quite a bit. There are other versions. There's the EDT which is fresher, a bit lighter. I did have that fragrance and I gifted that perfume to my mum because I prefer this one so much but I'm thinking I might add it back to my collection so I might buy that one again soon. If you do have the EDT let me know how it compares to this one. How do you enjoy the Eau de Toilette compared to my Eau de Parfum? Now the next fragrance I have for you guys is a fragrance from a niche house. Now this brand or this house, my goodness me. But before I even go into that because it's going to get very dramatic. <laughs> Before I get into that, are you a lady who loves a feminine perfume? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know right now. But for me and on my channel, on my journey here on this channel, you know, from the very beginning, I've always been about a feminine lifestyle, feminine fragrances. That is me all day long. And I think during this whole experience and my journeys of discovering fragrances, I'm always looking to curate a perfume tray, ideally a perfume wardrobe that has the most feminine perfume collection you can dream of. This house, to me, when I first tried their fragrances, are the epitome of femininity. And that fragrance house is M. Mikalev. I cannot believe how beautiful the sun is today like oh my goodness it's amazing so i'm actually wearing a beautiful fragrance from the house of m nicola and it's so stunning i've been raving on about it on my stories and it's called soleil passion and it's beautiful so it has notes of pomegranate ambergris there's strawberries in there and it's really nice it's sweet but tart perfect for the season we're in now so I just quickly ran up the house and I sprayed everywhere because <laughs> it's so stunning and um, yeah I'm waiting to receive my first compliment. I love this fragrance house, I love all the perfumes from this house. They just smell extremely feminine, I don't know how they did it, it's so artistic. Every single perfume just smells so dainty and, and feminine and girly and pretty. Now these perfumes, they exude femininity and elegance. This one is called Pure Extreme and this fragrance is a blend of gardenia and rose. There's some jasmine in here, some musk, so it's quite soft and I do pick up the musk in here. It makes this fragrance just so easy to wear. It feels soft and, and pliable if that makes sense it just has that feel it's like pliable <laughs> it just smells that way inclined but it's the rose in here for me a little bit of a sweetness but it's more of a floral sweetness not a gum sweetness and some woods and I love this one and when you spray it on the skin it just smells so beautiful and elegant now another fragrance I reach for if you've seen my spring perfume haul if you haven't I will leave a link for you guys down below so you can catch up on that video but this one I've mentioned before, and this is my Mon Guerlain Sparkling Bouquet. With the note of pear, this makes this fragrance transform into the sparkling blossom of lavender, vanilla, pear. Really beautiful, easy to wear, and this perfume, I would say it's extremely versatile. Dress it up or dress it down, but to me, I would prefer to dress this up or wear this as a daytime scent. 
and sometimes if you're out in the day and you just want to smell extra special then I would wear this one you get a lot of the pear the lavenders in here but it is sweetened through with vanilla so it's really nice that sparkling bouquet mongolan. Throughout my collection, I do have a lot of Dior perfumes and quite a few Chanel as well. So stay tuned for that if you are a Dior lover. So before I go on to Dior, I have Nectarine Blossom and Honey. This was my very first love from Jo Malone. I discovered this fragrance many years ago and this was the one I loved. There was two that I loved, but there was something about the orange notes in here that I just fell in love with. It smells clean, easy to wear, perfect daytime scent again. It just smells like spring. It's freshly cut fruits. That nectarine just smells really stunning, really clean, elegant, but not overdressed if that makes sense. This is a perfume. It could easily be your everyday scent or a signature scent if you like. And I just think this fragrance is gorgeous for the spring season and it's all about blossoms as well really pretty. If you like a fruity fragrance I do recommend Nectarine Blossom and Honey. This perfume focuses on lots of fruits. You have peach, nectarine, there's some black currant in here, there's some plum as well and some green notes in the opening and I do find this to be quite green more than it is sweet. Within so this collection I have a few Dior perfumes so I'm going to scatter them throughout my collection. I'm going to talk about this one first. This is the one I reach for the most Miss Dior Eau de Toilette. I like how this perfume is the Eau de Toilette of the Eau de Parfum, the 2017 version. So it's the perfect match and if you miss the 2017 then go ahead and buy this one here. I love how fresh this is and every single time I wear this, so many compliments. And now I just feel, I might do a separate video on this of course, but now I feel but this has become my alternative to Miss Dior Cherie in some form <laughs> because it doesn't smell anything like it but it reminds me ever so much of the perfume, the style, it's got that Miss Dior original DNA style if that makes sense, there's patchouli, there's rose, EDT is the more citrus version so it's more bright, fresh, clean, perfect for the spring and I do prefer an EDT for the daytime I don't mind, but it's really nice to start the morning off with an EDT and then perhaps towards the evenings and after hours, then you could wear another parfum. So this one I find fresh, bright, clean, sweet, highly feminine, my goodness me. And I have to say, I had the roller pearl just on the weekend I was wearing it and I received a compliment, which I was really shocked about. And it's not the first time I've had compliments from the roller pearl. So that's really interesting as well. But this one I do absolutely love. My go-to, I wear this a lot. So the next time I film a video featuring this perfume, watch the juice. I am doing a perfume check for you right now so you can just monitor the level of the juice. But this is early 2024 and I wanna see how much I'm gonna get through because I am loving this fragrance so much. Now, with this perfume, it smells beautiful. And this is a separate video, but I'm going to mention it just in case to give you all the information. This perfume is beautiful. You're not going to get any more than three hours in this fragrance. Just to let you know, you're gonna to have to overspray this. I feel I can smell this perfume on my skin for about two hours, and then maybe around three if it gets into my hair and clothes, but you're really looking at two hours. So just to let you know, I love this perfume and just be aware of the longevity, but it's stunning <laughs> and perfect for spring. This is Givenchy's Irresistible, one of my signature scents, a fragrance I would pick up every spring, but then I do wear this throughout the whole year. This perfume smells beautiful in the spring. It reminds you of spring. If you're looking for a sweet fragrance, a floral that has notes of rose, some pear, some cedar notes in here, musk, really girly, really pretty, smells like a doll, very much a perfume that reminds you of some sugar, maybe some white sugar cubes and some rose petals, that's what I get in this fragrance. The pair of this perfume adds this fresh sparkling burst and highly feminine, I love this as a daytime scent. I do recommend the Eau de Parfum if you want to try this one. Irresistible is a perfume that I can just wear as a grab and go. I just find it really easy to pick this up and wear and during early spring as well, the sweetness, especially when you're transitioning into spring, you don't want to go into 
your heavy gamans, you kind of want to leave those behind slightly, but you still want something slightly sweet, then I do recommend this one here. This is Miss Dior Rose and Roses, talking about a perfume that is sparkling and fresh. This is the one. This has a beautiful rosy heart. There's some geranium in here as well, so it's very floral. It smells like the first day of spring. I have to say, this perfume, I do not wear it much throughout the whole year. This is my spring summer scent. There's something about this perfume, it smells like a new day, it smells like the weather's changing, it smells like your neighbours just cut their grass and you can smell it in your kitchen. I don't know why, it just smells like that. It smells happy, it's a good mood perfume, feminine, it's just really pretty. You have to love a rosy perfume, you're going to have to love florals, but this is your musky rose with a bright citrus opening, extremely rosy. And extremely pretty so that's my rose and roses by Dior. Now if you love white florals this perfume is just for you. This fragrance is perfect and ideal for the spring. This one is my bouquet encore and when I first tried this fragrance my goodness I fell in love. Now this is a tuberose fragrance that's mixed with some jasmine. There's musk in this perfume as well and it opens up with a touch of pepper this is so stunning. It smells, honestly, it smells like a Barbie doll. It's a feminine doll. It smells pink. It smells girly. It smells romantic. It smells like your wedding day. Most definitely a wedding day fragrance. Perfect for the spring. If you like white florals, I highly suggest trying this perfume out. The tuberous in this perfume gives a bubble gum effect. So it makes it very sweet and floral. But in addition to that, this perfume contains vanilla in the base. You have that double sweetness in here, vanilla, tuberose, jasmine, a bit of musk, really beautiful. I can't even describe how pretty this is. And again, this just smells like spring. This makes a great signature scent or a daytime perfume. Really pretty, bouquet encore. So next in my lineup is My Way Floral. Now speaking of tuberose, this perfume has tuberose in the heart and it opens up with orange blossom. There's some bitter orange in here. And what makes this perfume really special is the addition of vanilla. Now vanilla is listed as a base note and when I spray this on my skin, I have a mixture of orange blossom, bitter orange and vanilla immediately. I just did a quick little test there, but give this perfume, spray this fragrance on your skin, give it about up to 30 seconds and then go back and smell the fragrance and all you can smell is this strong vanilla it's so pretty that blend of orange blossom tuberose vanilla also gives this a bubblegum feel but not too sweet you still have that bitter orange in there that sort of calms down the fragrance it's so beautiful extremely beautiful and I have to say I do like the my way collection I like the entire range but it took me a very long time to decide on my favorite this is my favourite one from the collection and this is perfect for spring and summer because it's all about orange blossom and you've got the bit of orange in here as well. So it's really nice if you're looking for something that's refreshing, floral, with notes of tuberose, I do recommend this one. But it's the vanilla in this perfume that really stands out. It's really soft, really beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this one. <laughs> it's so good, it's so nice. Definitely feminine, a perfect springtime fragrance, my way floral. Please give this a try. Now the next ideal springtime perfume is Latin Lover by Kana. This perfume is all about your white florals. This is so pretty and it's a combination. So you have some white florals, yellow florals and purple florals as well. You have Elang, Jasmine, Magnolia and the violet makes this perfume really soft and pretty. My gosh. Beautiful. This is spring in a bottle. I recommend wearing Latin Lover as a daytime scent, but you could wear this in the evenings as well. It's really pretty. You receive white florals. If you love white florals, you're going to love this one. And then after about 30 seconds, the benzoin really comes through and you receive this sweet note. So it smells almost like a vanilla-y type white floral. And then you have the alang in here, but this is softened by the violet as well. It's so a very pretty perfume. So that's Latin Lover by Kana. The next perfume I have for spring is Forever and Ever Dior. Now, one of you guys asked me about this fragrance and yes, this has <laughs> made it to my top spring perfumes. That's why I didn't include it in my perfume haul, my spring perfume haul, because I wanted to keep this one separate. 
as I find this to be ideal for spring. It just has that spring vibe about it. It smells almost like a garden. It smells like the outdoors. To me, it has a little bit of a green touch in there, and I won't say almost grassy, but not at all. It just reminds me of sitting outside in the garden and you just receive that really clean spring, fresh air. There's something about it, it's really pretty, and I find this just elegant and beautiful. So the notes in this fragrance, it's not as simple as you think. So I'm going to read some of the notes because it's not always displayed, but this perfume is a combination of freesia, jasmine, rose, and there's some almond blossom in here as well. There's also a touch of nutmeg, vanilla, and musk. And in this fragrance, I pick up the almond, and it says almond blossom. When I spray this, it has this blossom type note that's an almond note, but a green almond. So a very young almond fruit, very green. With that, you have the rose and the freesia. There's a touch of vanilla, there's rose in here. It just smells like a fresh bouquet of spring flowers. And I love it for that. This is very pretty daytime scent. I hardly wear this as an evening scent. This is something I would wear in the daytime and it's really gorgeous. So feminine. Pretty. It smells like a princess. It's a princessy vibe. It smells angelic and soft. Very feminine. The name of the fragrance itself just sounds like a fairy tale as well. So it's really pretty. This is Absolutely Blooming by Dior. This is a fragrance you have to run out and grab because it's discontinued now, but you should still be able to find yourself a bottle. So go out and have a look for this fragrance. I like this fragrance because this was a perfume I would only wear, surprisingly, during the spring and sometimes the summer. And this fragrance, the reason why is because this is all about the berries. It opens up with red berries and then you have a heart of peony, the rose in here, it's softened with musk. It's really fruity. This perfume lasts for hours. It's so long lasting. It's quite a strong, and I would say it's quite heavy and dense. A very strong perfume, but really pretty. You pick up the berries in here. There's some blackcurrant, there's raspberry in here as well. But I would suggest you can wear this all year round. But to me, this was always, for me, designed as a spring scent. So I had to mention it because this is a time we're going to be spraying it even more so. But this is really beautiful. If you're looking for a sweet, dense, floral perfume with notes of rose, peony and a fruity opening, then I recommend this one. It is quite a heavy fragrance. You can wear this in the day. It could be an office scent, but this smells really nice dressed up whilst going out in the evenings. So that is Absolutely Blooming by Dior. Whenever I'm filming these videos, I don't think I can ever go without mentioning this perfume here and now of this season, this fragrance, I am super excited to wear. This is a Chance Au Tendre and this is a fragrance I love and adore. My signature scent, my number one perfume, I wear this every single day and you will wear it too if you love a scent that smells like you. This perfume just smells somewhat like you. It's like, it's clean, it's soft, it's delicate, but it's still fresh. And I would say this perfume is a fruity floral perfume that leans a little bit more on the green side because of the citrus opening. You have quince, there's grapefruit in here as well. And then in the heart, you have some jasmine, you have musk, there's amber, there's cedar in this perfume. But when you wear this on your skin, it just smells like you. It's just an extension of who you are and I don't know it's just a really pretty scent I just find it to be an easy clean scent to wear and this is the perfume to wear now if you enjoy a floral perfume and you're looking for something that's a little bit more on the green side but not too green still soft and pretty then I do recommend Chance Autumn another perfume I grab for in the spring is Le Col Noir I feel like this fragrance I can only really wear it during the spring and in the summer as well it's not so much a winter scent this perfume focuses on rose with lemon and lots of berries, but you do have a woody base, there's some oud in here as well, and a touch of honey to give it a little bit more sweetness. But I love it, it just smells like spring. It's really floral, extremely rosy in a modern way. It has a little bit of a sweetness and a little bit of a tartness as well with lots of lemon. I would wear this as a daytime scent, and a weekend scent, you can wear this in the house. It's just a beautiful floral scent and very feminine. As soon as you spray this perfume, it's like an initial burst of flowers, roses, dense pink soft roses with crushed lemons, really beautiful.
and berries as well. It's really pretty. <laughs> so that's Le Col Noir. This is the perfect spring scent. Mist Dior Eau de Parfum. This is powdery. This is sweet. It is delicate. It is feminine. It's really beautiful. A very sweet gourmand type of floral that is powdery. And you, oh my gosh, it's so nice. There's something about this perfume. It's just so nice. Almost baby soft, powdery, sweet. Benzoin is in here. You have some tonka bean notes as well. Then this also has the apricot. Really pretty. And some peach notes. There's lily of the valley in this fragrance. And then you have some jasmine and some iris. It's the iris that really stands out for me in this perfume. The most long lasting note on my skin when I spray this is iris and some sweet tonka bean, benzoin and some of the florals as well. So I do recommend this as a daytime scent. You can dress this up as well. This is perfect for the springtime. I have worn this and I've received so many compliments. It does last on your skin. I would say about four to five hours. It lasts longer on your clothes. So you do get full day wear if you get this into your hair and in your clothes. The next fragrance I have to show you is a perfume I have been wearing a lot. And I find it really interesting because I feel like, you know, we always go through our phases or different phases when we wear our fragrances. And this year has been the phase to wear Gabrielle Chanel Essence, which I have here. I have been wearing this fragrance so much throughout the winter and I'm falling in love with this perfume even more so. I normally wear this as a spring perfume and this is beautiful for spring if you like white florals. So you have some alang in here, you have your tuberose, there's jasmine, it opens up with some red berries, there's citruses as well, but there's some coconut and sandalwood. But it's a beautiful white floral that you can wear every single day. And I started wearing this a lot during, I would say December as an everyday scent. There was something really soapy, fresh and clean about this perfume, highly elegant. It's a perfume that you can wear in the office and I do recommend this as a signature scent as well. It's not too heavy. I don't think this perfume could offend anyone. It smells like soap, clean, expensive soap. That's what it smells like. It smells like a perfume soap. And the white florals really shine, get that touch of coconut as well. And I just really love this one. And for this spring, this is ideal. You have the florals in here, you've got the citrus burst, touch of coconut really beautiful so that's gabrielle essence fragrance this is a fragrance i'm excited to wear it's sweetened with that fruity notes of peach and apricot really creamy and just so yummy beautiful jasmine this is really pretty it opens up really fruity so you pick up this apricot it's like a rich dense heavy apricot very juicy very creamy and the jasmine in here is very stunning really fine jasmine and then it dries down and that sweetness from the fruits dissipates slightly and then it's really focusing on that jasmine and the jasmine develops a little bit more green and that's how it is on my skin but I just love this it smells elegant if I want to smell elegant if I'm going out I've been invited let's meet for tea let's go for a coffee let's go for a stroll this is the perfume I'm going to wear it's not so much of a work scent, I would say, or an office scent. To me, it just smells more like a dressed up, elegant daytime scent. I like the structure of this perfume. It opens up with bergamot, but you do have apricot, peach, osmanthus, and vanilla. And I think all of those notes, they complement each other very well because they all smell very similar. The flower, osmanthus, smells very similar to a peach. Then you combine that note with jasmine and vanilla. It's really beautiful. It smells like a dense flower. You know how some petals have a waxy, thick petal that is white, almost like a magnolia. It's quite heavy, a little bit creamy and dense. The actual feel of the petal, that's what I get from this perfume. It feels like a heavy, thick osmanthus, apricot, vanilla, jasmine. It's creamy. I'm trying to describe the texture. And that's what I get. It's a creamy, dense, soft, beautiful jasmine. My gosh, so nice. It's the jasmine note is so strong. It's a beautiful, fine jasmine. <laughs> I love this one. Last on my list, I have Jador Laure. This came out last year. I wanted to share this fragrance with you guys. If you were looking for a fragrance, to wear for the evenings, if you were going to a special event or an occasion, 
what would you wear as a floral and this is something I would wear during the spring this is so super elegant it's really pretty this is orange blossom the jasmine is so stunning wow it's really nice roses in here again it's really pretty and I've worn this fragrance on numerous occasions and I've received about seven hours probably more on my skin this is a beast mode perfume which I'm really happy about because this fragrance is an essence de parfum so I would expect this fragrance to perform in a certain way and this fragrance gives me that this perfume lingers on my skin and I remember I spray this I think around 8 o'clock in the morning and I could still smell it around 7 p.m. at night so I had to raise my skin up to smell the fragrance but it was still stuck on my skin so if I had oversprayed, I only sprayed this twice on my wrist and it lasted for that amount of time so imagine if you spray it everywhere this is a beautiful evening scent so I do recommend J'adore Love if you're looking for a floral scent for the spring especially during the evenings leave me a comment down below and tell me what is your favorite perfume for spring what do you reach for i know these are the fragrances i always grab for i just know whenever it's spring i want to wear a particular perfume and i've just shared those with you these are my top fragrances my grab and go perfumes let's call it that so let me know what you love don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like and i'll see you in the next one